It's 7.05 p.m. and I'm here with Bunny and Pecan. We just went for a little walk. Now we're just coming home. So, my house across the street. There's the usual private airplane over here. Here come some houses, I mean some houses, some cars, and a bicyclist. Then we're gonna cross the street. Hold on. I don't like to cross the street at the corners because all the everybody runs the stop signs. So here we're coming up to the house where I have my native plant garden. And um, this over here is kale, which you not not kale, chard, which you might recognize, poppies, Tanzania phacelia, two kinds of native salvias, Cleveland sage and black sage, some um, gra native grass, and I bet you don't know what this is. This is the flower of a carrot really beautiful and there's going to be a lot of them. I planted carrot seeds here. These are lots of succulents and other things like trees that my friends gave me. And here's the main part of the garden. Here's the front yard. It's a lot of blooms. Some things haven't even started yet like the California fuchsia. And some things are done like the ceanothus. So here's Benny. He's very curious because Jack, the neighbor's cat, has a little cocoon over there, a little cave that he sits in. So we're walking past the coyote bush and poppies. Here's my little path to the back. Oh, this is a big mallow here. It's very pretty, blooms almost all year. Well, not all year, blooms from like April through September. This is the so-called creek over here. As you can see, it's all concrete. Um, so, and I have lots of pots. And then this is a different kind of mallow here. This is my secret garden. It's it becoming a little bit overgrown, which is the way secret gardens should be. I mean, very overgrown. No, oh, back here is some garden soil. I'm going to plant some sunflowers. But setting that aside, there's some beautiful, there's another mellow here, a little bird bath. That's a butterfly bath. Lots of that. Not, this mellow here is also blooming. You can see. That's like another Cleveland sage. It's already blooming. This is my Fremont and Dendron. It's finished blooming. Then over here, this is, uh, this is wildflowers here. It's kind of Clark here. And then I actually have some, whoops, narrow leaf milkweed. That's this, but it doesn't have any flowers right now. The, this other thing is parsley. This is my orange ball and my little frog. Okay, come on, Benny. So it's a mix here of parsley and Clarkia We're escaping out of the secret garden. These tiles, I think, are really pretty. I got them all at the Monterey Aquarium. Every time I go, I try to get a different one as a memento. And these wonderful bowl and garden lights, I got them all on Amazon. They are fantastic. They aren't very expensive. It's like $15. They are, you know, are solar powered, and they just are absolutely gorgeous. I have them sitting on glass um, bases, but you don't really need to do that. And just set them flat. Now Benny is looking at something really intensely. So he sees a wild creature. I'm almost sure this is the cat Jack because Jack likes to be here. Benny, what do you see? I can't see anything because the sun is really in my eyes. Benny, what is it? Is it Jack? Benny! I don't know. It could be. I see lizards out here. I haven't seen a snake yet, but I've seen lizards and salamanders. Benny obviously sees something. Pecan is sort of clueless. Come on, Benny. Oh, he doesn't want to move. Benny. Benny. Jack? It's Jack. Big surprise. There he is. Jack. Hi, Jack. Hi, Jack. As you can see, Jack isn't very afraid of Bunny. No, he's not. Okay, Bunny. That's enough. Let's go, Bunny. Jack is your friend. 
I hope this isn't going to turn out to be 